welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are discussing regarding nebulized epinephrine. So coming to the drug classification, it is a catecholamine hormone and medication and it comes as vial that is 1 ml containing 1 mg. Coming to mechanism of action, it is alpha and beta agonist and it also helps in relieves the relieving airway obstruction by reducing the airway edema. So this is a mechanism of action. Uh, epinephrine we ha all know it is uh, having an alpha and beta agonist action and it also have a relieving uh, airway obstruction by relieving the airway edema. So the main indication is like in croup. The nebulized epinephrine is mainly used in croup. So it is like decreases the strider and work of breathing in children with croup and also acute symptom relief in moderate to severe croup. Coming to drug availability, we have two types of epinephrine that is racemic epinephrine and L-epinephrine. Racemic epinephrine, it is a combination of D and L-epinephrine in a 1 is to 1 ratio and this racemic epinephrine is not available in our country. And this coming to L-epinephrine, L-epinephrine this is the normal epinephrine that we usually get. Then root as we already told it is nebulization. Then coming to dose and dilution, the, the dose and dilu doses is different for both racemic and L-epinephrine. So for racemic epinephrine the dose is 0.05 ml per kg of 2.25 percentage solution. This is maximum of 0.5 ml we can take and it should be mixed with NS so that it makes a total of 3 ml solution and it is then nebulized over 15 minutes. So we the racemic epinephrine uh, the available form is 2.25 percentage solution of that 0 0.05 ml per kg dose should be taken maximum of 0.5 ml and it should be mixed with NS so that it make total makes a 3 ml solution and then it can be given as nebulization. Then coming to L-epinephrine, L-epinephrine the dose is 0.5 ml per kg per dose and this is 1, m, 1 ml, 1 mg. We usually get our uh, L-epinephrine is like this is a vial. We have to take 0.5 ml per kg per dose and it is maximum of 5 ml and it is nebulized uh, over 15, to, uh, 15 minutes and it can be repeated every 15 to 20 minutes. Then coming to side effect, the side effects is like uh, some children may require frequent nebulization that is every 1 to 2 hours they will need a uh, nebulization. So this patient should be admitted in the under ICU or uh, should be monitored uh, closely monitored for any cardiac side effects of the epinephrine that is any arrhythmias or MI. And there is another thing uh, that is a rebound phenomenon. Rebound phenomenon is uh, the uh, action if we are giving we are planning to give a group patient we are planning to give only one uh, uh, one uh, dose of neb nebulized epinephrine. So uh, if when the, uh, the action of the nebulized epinephrine wear off the symptoms of group may recur that is rebound phenomenon. So if you are planning to give only one nebulization, we have to observe the patient in the emergency room for 3 to 4 hours whether there is any rebound phenomenon or not. So this is a two side effect, frequent nebulization we have to admit to uh, uh, monitor for the cardiac side effects and uh, should re remember regarding the rebound phenomenon. So this is all about nebulized epinephrine, thank you.